In this tutorial, we will show you how to edit a product. Upon logging in and being greeted with your dashboard, we will use our mouse cursor to find products and we will simply select all products. Next, we can either choose to find our product by going through the pages or we can search for the product in the search bar. For this tutorial, I'll be searching for a bag. In this case, we have found the sports bag. We will hover over it and we will simply select edit. This will now take us to a page where we are able to edit the sports bag. As you can see, the page is loaded and we have a title sports bag. And if we scroll down, you can see that we need to insert our SEO. So for this, we will insert our title as a key phrase. We'll insert it in our description. And if we have a description on this bag, including the fabric size and whatnot, we will insert this into the description. We will then select Close Snippet, and we will scroll down to the product data. By default, we will land on the general section. As you can see here, we currently have a regular price of 265 Rand. If we wish, we can enter a sale price, for example, of 260. What this will do is we will display the old price of 265 with a line through it and then the new current sale price next to it. I will remove the sale price and we'll set it back to default. So we will simply insert a new price that we wish to change the product to. Moving on, we come to our inventory which will include our SKU unit, which is our stock keeping unit. We can also opt, opt to change our shipping options, our linked attributes, linked products, my apologies. Our attributes is not for a simple product, so we do not need to worry about this. The advanced and the get more options again is not needed, and we can ignore this. Scrolling back to the top of the page, we can choose to change the status of the product, the visibility. We can change for example, if this product was only to become available on sale next week, we could publish it at the beginning of next week. Scrolling down, we can see that the sports bag is currently in the category for college boys and girls, junior primary boys and girls, preparatory boys and girls, and so forth. We can simply add to the, we can add these to other categories by selecting them. Scrolling down, we have come to our product tag which again will include the title of the product. Next, we will scroll down to the product image. Here, as you can see, we currently already have the product image inserted. We can change this by clicking on the image, and by default, it will take us to our media library. Here, we can choose a new image for the band, or we can select upload files, and we can upload a new image from our computer. Once we are happy with that, we can scroll down to the product gallery. Again, we can add products to the gallery by selecting the add button, where we are able to upload images, or we can choose images already uploaded to the website. Once we are happy with all the images, we will simply select add to gallery. If we have selected the wrong image, we can simply delete the image by selecting the cross. Once we are happy, we will run through the product one more time, we have our title, we have a description, we have done our Yoast SEO, we have done all our product data, which includes the price. We have selected the categories, we have included tags, and we have done the images. Once we're happy, we will scroll up, and we will simply select update. That is how you would edit the product on your website. 